tuned to STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and I'd like to welcome Chris Pavla from U City Needs Me. Yep. So this U City Needs Me. Mm -hmm. What is this? Explain this to me. Yep. So uh, about this time last year, we had uh, a bunch of organizations that that operate and serve University City. We got together and we said, you know, what would it look like if we had a, a conversation with the entire community, you know, we, instead of doing something for our own organizations, but to do something really for the whole city. Okay. And so we started kind of brainstorming what that would look like, because, I mean, U-City is a vibrant, diverse community, but there's limited interaction between the different demographics. Mm -hmm. So what would this look like? And through a brainstorming process and an iterative process, we came up with this idea called U-City Needs Me. Okay, yeah. and so you've got this flyer here. We've got some graphics too mm -hmm. to take a look at. So when we're looking at this, and if you if we hold this up, what people will see, and we'll take a look at that, is you people can fill in this form mm -hmm. about what my hope for you city right. is, right. and we're looking at something there. What is it that people? Yeah, so they get this. They'll get this card in the mail, or they can do it through social media. The hashtag hope for you city, or go to the library actually at U City, uh, the public library, and find one of these cards. But basically what they do is they, they talk about their hope or, or what they would like to see in the city or what they want to see changed in the city or what they love about the city. It's all anonymous. They fill it out, drop it in the mailbox. We receive it and put it up on our website, ucityneeds.me, and they can read their card and, and other cards from the community okay. um, to see you know, kind of what is the collective voice of this community, what is our greatest hope. And so this is this campaign. It's running yeah. till, from now to when? Uh, so it runs from August 21st to September 21st, one month. And then we'll take all of these cards that we receive, we'll analyze them and aggregate them and all that kind of stuff and put together a list of the top identified needs in the community. And then we'll unveil that list at a results party. Okay. And so what is, the, what is sort of the goal behind doing mm -hmm. this? Yeah. So every one of these organizations, it, like to better serve the community would be one goal, but for also for people to come together uh, in this conversation going, wow, I am a part of a greater community. And, and if, if we're going to see change that needs action and action, we need conversations. Mm -hmm. For everyone to kind of see themselves as like U City doesn't need more of, uh, you know, more taxes or better this or that. What U, U City needs is, is me, the mm -hmm. individual. And for every person to, to say, you know what, I get it. U City needs me and this community is better when I'm involved. So, so what are some of the responses that you're getting so far? Yeah, absolutely. We, I mean, um, that's, there's got to be a lot, but it's yeah, an example we've, of that. We've gotten over 500 cards already, wow. which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, and the mailer went out to 13,000 homes in, in U City, which is also fantastic. I would say that the needs that are being identified, um, kids are near and dear to the hearts mm -hmm. of, of people. Mm -hmm. Education and, and the schools, making sure that we, you know, we are a beacon of education. And then um, also there's that green initiatives are in there, uh, conversations about, um, goodness, uh, government. But it, I would say the number one and number two things right now are, are youth and education. Those things are just clearly, you know, on people's hearts and minds. Do you feel U City covers a pretty, you know, big area yep. itself? I mean, do you feel that people who reside in U City that was it sort of were people distant, even though I mean, or are people? Is there not a collective sort of identity, or are they no? I think there is a collective time? identity. I think there is. You know, it, there's 35,000 people mm -hmm. in U City. It runs from like 170 Del Mar, all of yeah. kind of that that area, mm -hmm. um, all the way to Skinker. Um, it's just a very diverse community, and so it, it like. I think what, what happens is we, we end up talking and, and interacting with people who look like us and, and, and care about the same things that we care about. Um, but when we all come together in a conversation about the city, all of a sudden, like we're interacting with a brand new group of people. And I think that's where change really starts to happen is we all of a sudden discover new resources or new, uh -huh. new um, opportunities or new skill sets that are in our community. Right. So tell me about the reveal party. This yeah. is October. Yep. So the results party is October 3rd, and we have uh, 20 organizations uh, that, have made, that make up University or uh, U City Needs Me. Mm -hmm. um, organizations like Operation Food Search, the Green Center, the Public Schools, the Chamber of Commerce. Um, anyway, so uh, 20 different organizations, mm -hmm. and all of those organizations will take the information that we receive from these cards and speak at a results party about what they're doing to, uh, to address those needs that have been identified or what, they, what they're doing or will do to address those needs that have been identified. And, and the results party will be fun. We'll have 
giveaways and music and food, you know, from Lulu's and the Melting Pot and Vernon's Barbecue. So it'll be a fun night. It'll be a fun night bringing mm -hmm. the community together. Yeah. Well, we've got that information again for you on the screen. It's taking place October 3rd at 5 p.m. at Heman Park Community Center right there in University City, of course. Yeah. Uh, to find out more information, you can still participate in the campaign. It runs until the 21st of this month, but go to U City Needs. Dot me. Dot me. Yeah, that's perfect. Yep. <laughs> Worked out so well. For call information, call the number that was on the screen. But there's a video that they put together, and we're going to take a look at that when we return. So we're going to take a quick break, but we're going to chat more with Chris and learn more about UCB Needs Me after this short break. Stay with us.